feeling we might come across an elk because I saw fresh, really fresh footprints and really fresh scat a while back. Young buck, off on his own. That's the dangerous kind, though. Young bucks like that. I don't want to press him. I just want to pass by. It's okay, little guy. You're a big one. Now what I'm going to do, he's far enough off the trail. He uses the trail and I just go off the trail. I'll just move on by here. I'm just going to pass on by, buddy. You just go about your business, and I'll keep moving. See you later, guy. You only got one antler. What happened? And he can sense that I'm not a threat, so... I mean, I've seen... Uh, it's only the second time I've come across an elk on the trail. I'm not sure what happened to his other antler. He's too young and too small to be involved in the annual rut. And... Uh, I'm actually past it now, so I've moved down beyond past him, so he knows I'm not going to bother him. Hey, there, good buddy. He's too, uh, he's good size, you know, five, six hundred pounds, but he's not big and nearly big enough to be involved in the annual rut, so the, this time of year, the Well, and I guess you'd call him a teenager or something. Lone males are out on their own. And uh, they're used to humans. But they don't want anybody mess with him. He's just going to go about his business eating. He could care less about a puny human. The main thing about any wildlife, elk or any wildlife, as long as what you're doing is not distracting them from their normal routine, that he's relaxed and going about eating the leaves. Alright buddy, we'll see you later. Have a good lunch. Have a good one. It's always exciting to come across an elk when you're out hiking.